For this video, I'll be working through question three of the 2018 level two electricity exam. Question three, use the following circuit diagram to answer the questions below. Show the total resistance of the circuit above is approximately 10 ohms. Right, so we have these two fellows in parallel and that in series. So add the two guys in parallel um, in your formula sheet you have, this is for adding resistors in parallel, um, and that's for adding resistors in series. So in parallel we have, chuck some brackets, 1 over 4.8 plus 1 over 7, and then we've got to take the inverse of that, so we flip it, because that's equal to 1 over the answer, so we have to flip that to get the actual answer. It gives me 2.84 ohms. Um, and then in series, 2.84 plus 7 oh, zero, zero ohms gives me 9.84 ohms, which is close enough to 10 ohms. Close enough. Um, there we go. Calculate the voltages across bulb 1 and 2. So basically that one there and that one there. Right, so what we need to do is we need to find the total current. Because to find the total voltage across this one here, V equals IR. The current is going to flow, this is the positive side of the battery, can we see that here? Yeah. And the wee ones are negative. Assuming all constant, like conventional laws, we assume current flows from positive to negative, so it's going to go through, the, all the current's going to go through this bulb, it's going to come to here, it's going to split up, more current's going to go through the least resistance bulb, um, and then some current's going to go through here and then along to here. <laughs> These two fellows will be the exact same voltage because it's got 12 joules of energy, it comes through here, loses, we'll figure out what this voltage is, and then it splits up. Some electrons go down here with their amount of energy, some go down here with their amount of energy, but the voltage or the energy they have, each bulb gets, is going to be exactly the same. Right, let's work some stuff out. The current is going to be equal to the total voltage divided by the total resistance. Uh, I'll put, that's going to be current total. That is going to be equal to 12 divided by 9.84. Um, and that is going to give me 1.22 amps. If you use 10, it's kind of, kind of screw you up a little bit. I'm a bit annoyed about this. It's so far off. It's not even close to 10. It's like 0.2, oh. Okay, 0.15 ohms off, whatever. So bulb 1 voltage, uh, B1 voltage, that's not how you spell it, there we go, voltage is going to be equal to IR, so 1.22 times 7, which gives me 8 point, was it 5, what did I write there? I hope it is, I need to, I have to calculate this out. Um, 8.53 volts. Right, now here's a cheeky wee trick you can use. I sort of explained it roughly up there. V supply is equal to... Um, I've got VB1 plus VB2. Right, and the reason being is in level three you learn a law called Kirchhoff's um, voltage law, but really it's just common sense. It's conservation of energy. Here, the net potential is zero. So here you've got 12 volts, here you've got, you know, we say zero volts, but it's not entirely true. So assuming here each electron lo leaves with 12 joules of energy, it's a metaphor, it's not actually how it works. Um, but it's a good metaphor. So each electron moves, he's carrying his little 12 joules, he loses, how much does he lose? He uses, loses 8.53 joules of energy through here. And the rule is, when he gets back to the end, he has to have none. That's just the rule. So he's got to lose the rest through here. Um, and it basically means supply is equal to demand. Um, that's the crux of it. Right, so that is going to be equal to... Oh, we're going to have to rearrange for B2, aren't we? We are. So, what are we going to do? 12, that's a total supply, minus 8.53 equals V, that should be V, B2. 
which is going to be equal to, what is it, 3.46 volts. Easy peasy. Right. Bulbs 2 and 3 are not the same brightness. Discuss which bulb is brighter and why. Right, I'll just put like a blanket statement. Power is brightness. Is brightness. Um, according to level 2 physics. It's not actually like in real life. If you buy LEDs, it's completely not the case at all. Um, because you've got efficiencies to take into account, but for level two, power is brightness. That's the rule. Right. Um, power equals the current times the voltage. Um, and just a side note, current is equal to the voltage divided by the resistance. Just It's just Ohm's law. V equals IR rearranged. So I've just moved the R underneath the, underneath the V. I'll just show you what I've done. Here we go. Where is it? V equals IR. So I moved the R underneath, so I've got I is equal to V over R. Now I'm going to substitute that in. So I'm going to say power is going to be equal to V over R times V. Because I've, I moved that V over R in for I, and now that's just equal to V squared over R. Now this is going to give us a very easy way to figure out which is which. Whatever's got the most voltage divided by the uh, resistance um, is going to give me the most power. Right, so I've just said both bulbs, I just got a bit confused. We're looking at two and three. Both both bulbs have the same voltage across them, but bulb B, uh, but the bulb with a lower resistance will be brighter as we just derived that up there. Power equals voltage squared over R. Reducing the resistance increases the power. And I just calculated it out just to, to, to double check. Um, bulb 2 is 2.5 watts, um, bulb 3, I showed you the working, it's the voltage squared, so 3.46, that's the voltage across uh, 3 and 2, um, squared divided by 7 gives you 1.72, so it actually is true, you know, look, that's less than that, sweet, right, an ideal ammeter, here's an ammeter with negligible resistance, oh that's a, just bulb around that, um, is added to the previous circuit below. Um, discuss the effect adding the ammeter has on the circuit, the voltage, and hence the brightness of each volt. So if you had done this before in real life, or if you've done this with your physics teacher, and he's showing you the life skill of how to use a voltmeter, you should know that measuring voltages 99% of the time is always very safe. You can't stuff it up. Measuring currents, however, is very, very easy to stuff up if you short the circuit. And what it means is, if you put the, the uh, ammeter from here to here, you won't measure the current going through the circuit. You'll just short the circuit. An ammeter is basically a short circuit, and then all of a sudden you get a nasty spark, and you'll learn your lesson. Right, so I'm going to pause the video, write the answer, and then I'll discuss it. Right, so I said that ammeter acts like a short circuit, so bulb one won't glow. Um, total resistance has decreased because we've shorted that out. Um, so the total current will increase. Powers of current, uh, powers of current times the voltage. Um, if you sub in V equals IR, you get I times I times R, which is just power equals current squared times R. As the total current increases, the brightness of bulbs three and two, the two remaining bulbs, um, will increase. Bulbs three and two will both have 12 volts across them. Um, bulb one will have zero volts across it. So what do we, we have, have we answered the question? That's the point. And it has on the current, yeah, we've, we've talked about that. Current increases, the voltage, um, yeah, we've talked about that, and hence the brightness of each bulb. Yeah, okay, we've discussed all of them, um, and that is it.